Yo, and welcome back to episode number five of checking out useful stuff for the M4 Mac Mini. Today we have the Orico Mini Pro. This is a USB-C based enclosure that adds external storage to the M4 Mac Mini and also a bunch of ports. It also acts like a stand. I've been using it for a few weeks now and in this video, I wanna share my experience with you guys. I'll take you guys through the setup and installation, talk about the performance, the SSD speeds, and let's find out if this is worth your money. Inside the box, you get the user manual, the enclosure itself, a screwdriver, two extra screws, a USB-C to C cable, and last but not the least, you get two thermal pads for the SSD. Talking about design and build quality, the Mini Pro is completely made out of aluminum and they've tried to match the silver finish of the Mac Mini. And I must say, they did a really good job. They're also inspired by the Mac Pro. So you can see the cheese grater kind of finish towards the front and back. You have the little handles and also the feet. And the overall build quality on the enclosure feels really solid. Doing a quick overview, you've got two USB-A ports on the back. This is gonna give you 10 gigabits per second speeds and one USB-C. This is gonna be a host port, so this is what is gonna connect to the Mac Mini via the USB-C cable. Towards the front, you've got a full-size SD card reader and a micro SD card reader. And these are gonna give you UHS one speed, so 80 to 100 megabytes per second. If we're gonna talk about the exact numbers when I get to the performance, Getting to the setup and installation, it's very easy. You have this release switch right here. So you push it back and it lets go of the back cover. And I really like that it is completely toolless. You don't have to open any screws. And when you're putting it back again, just push it back and it locks into place. So yeah, really nice design in my opinion. Inside you have four silicone standoffs which allow for a really snug fit and they also prevent the dock from scratching the surface of the Mac Mini. Installing the Mac Mini is really easy. So you just line up the front and back IO, you push it in, just make sure it's all the way in. And once that's done, you can put the lid back on. So yeah, use the release switch. And that's it. That's how you install the Mac Mini into the dock. You can see the back I.O. lines up, the front I.O. is here, and even the power button, which is really tactile. Now it's time to install the SSD in here. For that, we're going to be opening up the SSD door. There's one screw and just open that up. And as you can see, it does support multiple sizes of the SSD, so you can use of course the big ones but you can also use the smaller ones i'm using the orico j1 this is a regular size ssd it's one terabyte pci gen 3. to install it you just line it up with the slot push it in and you're going to secure it in place with this screw right here and they do give you an extra screw in case you lose this one Once that's done, you're gonna grab the thermal pad. This is really important to install and apply on top of the SSD because it's gonna prevent your SSD from overheating and yeah, just keeps it at a stable temperature. So there's gonna be, you know, this plastic on both the sides, remove that and just line it up something like this. And that's it, you're done with the SSD installation, you can go ahead and put the door back on. And that's pretty much it. That's how you, and that's the installation. That's how you install the SSD as well as the Mac mini into the dock. Now what's left is to grab the USB cable and connect it to the dock as well as the Mac mini. So you have the host board right here. You're gonna plug one in, in there. And the other one goes into the Thunderbolt port on the back of the Mac mini. Now you can start using the Orico mini pro. I'm going to come back to you guys with the SSD speeds and my overall thoughts on the dock. Talking about performance, I started my testing with the SD card slot. I used the SanDisk Extreme Pro SD card, which is rated for 200 megabytes per second. Inside the Blackmagic disk speed test, I was able to get upwards of 100 megabytes per second write and above 85 megabytes per second read, which is in line with what they advertise on their site. These are UHS-1 speeds, by the way. So if you have UHS-2 cards, you should look for something faster. Moving on to the SSD, I'm using their in-house Orico J1, which is a one terabyte PCI Gen 3 and VME SSD and I was able to get upwards of 800 megabytes per second write and upwards of 800 megabytes per second read consistently and the speeds were not dropping there was no overheating or throttling and in my testing 
throughout the few weeks the ssd never disconnected so it never drops connection another thing i really like about the orico mini pro is that it does not interfere with the cooling of the mac mini so the you know part where the hot air comes out of the mac mini is still open so it does not block any airflow and it also does not interfere with your bluetooth and wi-fi connection i was able to get my full wi-fi speeds there were no fluctuations or you know issues there and bluetooth works fine as well as far as the usb ports are concerned on the back i use them for my keyboard and mouse to you know wirelessly connect the receivers but these are usb 10 gbps ports so you can use it to transfer data as well overall my experience with the orico mini pro has been smooth if you're looking for an affordable solution to upgrade the storage of your mac mini and add some ports this is a good option but if you're looking for something faster i'd say check out 40 gbps docks in the market they're a little more expensive but can give you more performance but for the everyday user i think the orico mini pro is going to be good enough with that being said i will leave links down below in the description to the orico mini pro check it out if you're interested and if you have any questions do let me know in the comments down below i'll be there replying to you guys thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace out